out here in the Atlantic Ocean. I'm gonna do a little fishing. Uh, this afternoon, Saturday afternoon, my dad has a cast net and uh, he's going to throw it out there. <laughs> Just a sec, I don't see anybody watching. Oh wait, there it says one person's watching. Sometimes it's behind though. So let's give it just a second. Got some cool fish out here, so let's, let's ah, take a look. there's Alex Bergeron. All right, so we have some people watching. What's up, guys? We've got Ballyhoo out here. Mm -hmm. Runner. We have. Uh, we, we can keep those two for bait fish. We also have some yellow tails and some others that we can't keep because they're not big enough. Mm. But we're going for the bait fish. We'll release anything that we can't keep. But look at all those mm -hmm. fish. I hope you yes. all can see them. I put my sunglasses over the. Oh, I don't know if that's helping though. You guys see all those fish down there? See them all? Uh, Nick, we are in uh, Key Largo, Florida, actually. And uh, so, all right, we have people watching now, Pops. I just, sometimes it's behind. So, he, my dad's getting ready to try to catch a whole bunch of fish with the cast net. And then we'll, yeah, it is kind of, take your time. Sweet. Oh, look, oh, look at all the fish jumping. You scared a bunch. I got something in the net. I can see it coming Uh-huh. I see a ballyhoo. I see two ballyhoo. Two ballyhoo. All right. Go. Look at that, guys. Let's see what we got here, kid. Oh, and a blue runner. Oh, guys, these are all fantastic bait fish. So we are in Key Largo. And if you guys are just joining us, my dad has got some bait well, um, that so little, him. that little cigar looking, whoa, that little, oh, thank you for the five dollars, wow. who gave the five dollars, RJB. This, check this guy out here, RJB, look at his red tip, On the, can you see that red tip at the tip of his, his tip of his bill? That's called a ballyhoo, guys, yeah, if you guys are around. And his mouth opens this way, the, the, the bill is on the bottom of the mouth, usually the bill's on the top, so that's kind of cool. Long cigar shaped fish. They're great for bait. Yes. And one of the best baits here in the Keys. And then the Blue Runner is another great bait fish. And uh, check out guys, before we did the live stream, we started to fish a little bit because we wanted to make sure we had plenty of bait so we weren't boring you guys for the first hour just trying to catch bait fish. So uh, you want to throw the, your Blue Runner in there too, Pops? Yes, Sweet. He'll, he'll, uh, he'll cut up in a lot of jumps there. Yeah. All right. There we go. There we go, guys. Check them all out there. Cool. All right. I think I'm going to get this last one in, and then we're going to, uh, I, I'd like to switch. I'd like you to get out of here to the rod and reel. All righty. Greetings from Germany. I've got several Germany and from California. We got a bunch of people from Germany. Um, hey, modders, monsters, what's up, Shane? Guys, this is the bait we're using. We're just going to use some nice little cut bait there. Um, a cut ballyhoo and blue runners. We have people from Wisconsin and California, UK. We have them from all over. Nice. Mississippi, California. Top Ramen, thank you for the super chat. And uh, somebody asked, where are we? From Holland. We got Washington, oh, New man. Zealand, Tennessee. Gosh, we had them from all over. That's so funny how in a live stream, there are like people from so many different places. I mean, all around the world. Isn't it crazy the day and age we live in where we can be out here fishing and people from all over the world all at once can watch it. So from Canada and Texas and Idaho and Albania and New Mexico. Where's Idaho? <laughs> all right, guys, my dad's going to rig up now, now that we got the bait done. Uh, well, I was, you want me to rig up a... a a piece of oh, cut bait. Well then let me yeah. Get these glasses away. I, I'm old. I gotta have two sets of glasses. <laughs> uh, how about you catch a few fish first? We got okay. from New Jersey. Right. Ashton Law Lawler's from uh, Canada. We got Florida. Fly boys catch them all. Ohio. I think we have everybody because somebody said Morocco. I mean, wow. in South Africa. So that's actually North Africa. But oh no, somebody's and South Africa. Oh, you know, the, uh, is this the lighter rig? Yes. Uh, your mother has some of her lineage from Africa. Yes, right. my mother's family's from. A it's from all over. 
Uh-huh. Okay, I'm gonna do some ballyhoo here. There's a chunk of ballyhoo. We got the little bit of the gut sack in there still. Put them on the circle hook. Top ramen asks, are we ever gonna come to Southern California? You never know. Whoa, thank you for the $20 wow. super chat from Fix This. Thank you so much. Just no message, just says number one. Thank, thank you. you. Fiji, that's cool. I've always wanted to go to Fiji. And we've got- are How are y'all doing after the volcano out that in your area? Yeah. That was a big volcano a week ago. I'm gonna, there's a white patch up here. I want to cast off into this thing over here. We've got Boston and Sweden. Madagascar. What? Indianapolis, Las Vegas, another United Kingdom. Look at, look at all the big fish. Did you see them? A whole bunch of big fish. Just they scattered. We are in, uh, if you're all you guys just joining, we're in Key Largo, Florida. From Bristol, from Zimbabwe. I have a friend from Zimbabwe. Lived there for like the first 20 years of her life. We've got Denmark. Wow, we got a lot of stuff. Fly boys catch, Florida boys catch them all. I thought it said fly. Washington. So guys, while my dad, proudly Polish. So while my dad is, um, oh, Andy Coop. Just sent a super chat. Let me go back and look at that. Love from Ireland. Adam Coop. Cope. Cope or Coop. Um, so while my dad's waiting for a bite, if you guys just joined us, we just caught some bait fish. And we're just going to spend the afternoon out here. And it's probably till the sun goes down, actually. We're right over a tropical reef. Let me show you the water. Look how you guys. Oh, yeah, they could see the fish there. Yeah, see all these fish swimming around our boat? Check it out. Just fish all over the place. Those are all bait fish. And the, yeah, and the reason why we're having so many fish um, uh, around us, our boat, is because we have a chum bag out. So this is a whole bunch of, uh, this was a frozen block of like ground up fish. And you, this is a very Florida thing to do. You throw it out behind the boat and it, you can see all the little pieces there in the water start to disperse and it creates a nice little oil slick. And then um, it attracts all these bait fish and then the little fish attract the bigger fish. So I think it's just fish right over the reef pops. Guys, we got a bunch of coral right below us. It's sand right over there where we anchored and coral right below us. And there's a, uh, there's a pillar there. So we're on this like underwater hump in the middle of the ocean. In fact, the closest place is like three miles that way. We are way out here, but it's still only, it's like eight feet underneath our boat. So that's the crazy thing about Florida. Yeah, that is the crazy thing about Florida. You can go way out. You got something? I'm gonna fish in a second here once my dad. Guys, I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna sort of trade off. Howdy from Kentucky. We got a $5 super chat from Alex Pearson. Love the vids. Tell the ancient I love the MRE videos. Yeah, we're hoping to have another one out here pretty soon. Yeah. We're gonna try try to the coolest MRE video is uh we're we have a new idea for it, actually. Totally new. Got something? Or did he get you a snag? That looked like a Classic case of he got you snagged. What's his? Is Alex? Is it, is it Alex? Is yeah, guy Alex guy? Pearson from what, Kentucky. What's his favorite MRE video? Alex, what are your favorite MRE videos from my dad? Love from South Carolina. Washington. Australia. Oh, Julian is in the chat. What's up, Julian? He's been a long time member. Julian, uh, yeah, from Toronto. What's up? And uh, greetings from Germany. Hey, we've got Ash Commerce. You got some. All right. Fish on, folks. First big fish that hasn't been a bait fish. Oh, it is a yellowtail. Yes. Flying fish. It's got to be 12. Right? It's got to be 12 inches, yes. He's, 12, I no, I don't think so. That's a pretty fish, though, isn't it? Mm-hmm. First fish of the day, ladies and gentlemen. Belly, that's for sure. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, guys, this mine might be a little short. They need to be 12 inches. But this is a, this is an extremely popular 
fish to catch in Florida. So, yeah, just grab them. Just grab that little sucker. <laughs> yeah, I would say we don't even have to measure him. He's, he's short. Just. <laughs> That's beautiful. Isn't that a pretty fish? He mm -hmm. has teeth, right? Put my fingers in his mouth and kind of show you guys. But I'm not going to do that. But look how pretty. Yellowtail snapper is what this fish is called, guys. It goes pretty against the red of my finger. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Little undersized. Well, that is a good start yes. to the day. We're going to... Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah, you can catch one more. I will get you a piece of bait. So, guys, this is a boat rental. Love the vids. Keep it up from NorCal. NorCal. NorCal living. Let's see. Where you're going to select a nice chunk. See how? Look how silvery that is. Um, that is one of the reasons why that's such a good piece of bait. Grim Reaper ATV. Um, he said something. I didn't oh, see it. Man. I was painting. Like it, he wants to, my favorite. I hope to meet someday. Thank you, Grim Reaper ATV for the 350 cool. and rjb again two dollars for the first fish hey thank you <laughs> rj <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> appreciate that all right so my dad's gonna drop it out again guys this uh ballyhoo is is oily extremely oily fish and that has that silver flash so it usually doesn't take too long at all to get a bite thank you we got lyric odell Oh, I love the hair in your profile picture, Lyric Odell. I've always loved that kind of hair. Thank you for the $2. Snowing here and you guys are fishing. Somebody's jelly. Oh, I've seen that name. Oh, hi, Tash. I know Tash. Tash has been a subscriber for a long time. Where is Tash from? There's people from Idaho and there is Gear Up Survival, my arch nemesis, who hacked my account and is now a moderator you got one <laughs> you got one <laughs> are you getting bites it's pretty instant right when you drop it down you get a bite somebody asked what is the coolest fish i've ever caught i'll get back mark low love the vids you and the ancient should come to oklahoma and try hillbilly hand fishing oh noodling i've got some yeah we've been lobster and noodling sounds uh-huh guys uh some of the newest videos coming up there'll be a new one in in uh, this evening but uh in a couple weeks there'll be another new one lobstering i would not mind noodling um it, but as long as it was the controlled noodling where like people plant a nice little like concrete tube and then go back and uh noodle in it but as far as the like going around beaver dams where there are snakes and all this kind of stuff, I I just not I'm not a fan of that. So what's the worst that could happen? Yeah, worst that could happen, you know, water moccasins, snapping turtles, all that. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> yeah. Hello, Riser. Uh I'm from Miami. It's supposed to meet you guys at all this time. You know, I, I'm not really sure we're gonna do a meetup, but I appreciate it. And uh, um, I appreciate you watching from Miami. We actually landed in Miami to get here. And we have Tyler Toth says, I'll donate $100 if you jump in the water and yell yippee as you jump. <laughs> I don't know that we'll be doing that, but that is a funny idea. I mean, keep getting bites. I think you should fish directly off the back of the boat. Yeah, that's where our chum bag is. That is my opinion. All right. Brazilian. Oh, hi, Michelle from Colorado. Hello from... We got another $5. Thank you so much. Uh, sending love from Texas. Happy fishing, guys. You missed him? Do I need to take over the rod? <laughs> Not yet. Guys, my my dad and I have been out several times already, not during the live stream, just filming several videos, and he's been whooping me, um, actually. In fact, if I didn't bring him with me, we probably would not have caught enough fish for a video. Another ballyhoo? Ballyhoo chunk. Look how silvery that is. Mm. Just... No, I don't want to eat that. 
Yeah. You don't want to eat it? I'd rather eat a yellowtail. We do have our live well filled up, guys, so we catch keeper, we're throwing them right in the live well. Yeah, I'd say right below the boat. You never know what's hanging out below the boat. When will you come back to Hawaii? As soon as they lift the COVID restrictions, we will come back to Hawaii. Should be there right now. That's usually the routine, isn't it, for like the past, ever since the start of my channel. January and February are Hawaii videos, but um, all the uh, COVID restrictions that change every other week. Um, so we're like, you know what, forget this. We're just going to Florida. So. If they let us do an antibody test, we'd pass that because we've had it. Yeah, we've all had, the whole family's got COVID. You got him? Oh, shoot. Yeah, no banana this time, <laughs> Julian said. Mm -hmm. Got it off? Yeah, well, there's another one rigged up right there. Just grab a lot of fish and run. Yep. All righty. People are saying they'll donate a hundred bucks if we jump in, but jump in, that's no big deal. We've only seen a few hammerheads, that yeah, eight or ten footers, and, and we've been chumming for the fish around here. What could possibly all the run? chum in the water, yeah. you guys? The first like hour we rent got the boat rental, my dad and, I, and uh, we see like a ten foot hammerhead shark come up right by the boat. just 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 like with a we right up. just are starting to explore, and there's a giant hammerhead sitting there. So yeah, we're um. So anyway, you right. There we nice go. Now it is a little shaky because the phone okay. is now the gimbal, so like hold it as steady as possible. <laughs> Why is your Wi-Fi on the sea better than at my house? No kidding, huh? <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, what we have here is just a little Carolina rig. Uh, my turn to take a shot. Ace was born in Idaho, raised in Idaho, and moved to Tennessee. I was the only child to be born in the house. I wasn't born yes. in a hospital. That's right. All right. Watching from Flint, Michigan? Wow. Me? I'm going to go with a different bait. We're going to go with a piece of blue runner here. See if that gets something. We are using circle hooks. We hope to go back to Sanibel one day. And I did, I caught some with jigging. Man, I, these things are going through so quickly, it's hard to keep up with what folks are saying. If, if a super chat comes through, it pops up on the top of the screen. You can press it and you can read it. Oh, okay, okay. There's from Tennessee. Um, wow. I live in the south now, by the way. Somebody asked. Watching from Stanton Island. I'm from Idaho, just moved to Texas. Ooh, got some boat waves. Yeah. A lot of yachts out here. Yeah, yeah, and I mean like $2.8 million yachts. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Big, massive, like, yeah. Oh my goodness, Aberdeen, Scotland, Kansas. Oh, there's Adam Cope. Hey, man, uh, you said I just hit that. Happy fishing from Texas. Love your vid. Stay safe. That was Carolyn. And uh, how do I go back to... You just tap on the screen again and it goes away. Okay. And how do I go back to whoever just gave something? Sorry about that. You can that. just click on the, on the, it should be on the top there if it was a $5. Oh yeah. Hey man, just love your videos. You and your dad are awesome. Inspired me to fish. Love the trout fishing videos. Four ninety nine. dollars I don't know if that's pounds or what, but that's pretty cool. Yeah, you got fish jumping all over by Asa. I'm getting small bites down below the boat. They're, they're nibbling. Down here in Florida, in Miami, keep it up, Asa. Oh, Asheville, Tennessee, at the game today. Yeah, there you go. Good luck, Titans. Oh yeah, when do they play? Uh, I don't pay attention to the Tennessee Titans, but that's uh, terrible, man. <laughs> oh, it was in euros. Wow, you got a lot of euros there or pounds. I don't know. Somebody said euros. Somebody said pounds. Anyway, circle hooks. Yes, we're when you circle. Yeah, you just you just reel up. You don't. You shouldn't. Uh, Re, uh, set there. Okay, here we go. Somebody just said something here, and let's see here. How do I find that? Got it. Oh, got a fish. Fish on. Fish on. Here we go. Oh, something small. It's a 
grouper. Oh, oh there you go. That's cool. Grouper. Very cool. Oh, a baby, is that a gag grouper? Yeah, baby, I think it's nice. a gag grouper, guys. Nice. We're still a little bit newbies to the Florida yeah, group, I'm pretty sure that's a gag grouper. And sorry about the video rocking and rolling sometimes, guys, but uh, I... So yeah, there's so many boat waves. It's smooth as, as far as oceans go. It's really smooth. Look at that. That is so pretty. Let me see the teeth. Can I see those teeth? I, on a baby one. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's got a... Oh, is oh, that your bait? another fish in his Oh, mouth. that's what I thought. Yeah. Can you get it out of there without getting bit? Oh, look at that. That is crazy. That is crazy. He just spit up that little oh, fish there. Oh, my word, Asa. That is very cool. What a beautiful little fish. Wow. There's $5 from California. We're going to throw this over. All right. All right. Let so go. my dad and I both have one. Actually, I caught two. <laughs> <laughs> yuck, yuck, yuck. All right. All right. I love Ace's three-day challenges, but did he remove one? Did you remove a three-day challenge? I don't think so. I don't Unless think YouTube so. did. There's yeah. A lot of censorship going on right now. Agnes Curry says there she's there in in uh, Boise, and it's cold. Titans at three thirty today, ah. East time, Eastern time. I'm guessing. New England, Connecticut, go Titans. Will you ever visit North Carolina? Oh yeah, I used to live in North Carolina before the days of Ace and his brothers. Mm -hmm. I was in the Marine Corps many, many moons ago. What? Let's see. <laughs> Before children. Yeah. I'm getting a bite already. Already. Let's check it out here. Jeez, look at all the fish down there. I think the camera. Can you guys see Oh, down golly. There? Yeah, they can see all those. Look at all. Whoa. Sorry about that, guys. Look at all those fish down there. Wow. We don't have any keepers yet. We're working on it. They've got some what they call ballyhoo out there. They're a little skittish. They're a little farther away from the bait bag. Got but we've got. Okay, here comes Asa. What do we have here? Oh, a grunt. A Connor it's bug. A red mouth grunt. God's name is Yahweh. Two dollars. Thank you, Connor. A grunt. Fix this. Five dollars. What up, me ancient? Love your videos. Go Green Bay. Can there you, guys you go. See that the red mouth. Oh my. Look at he's got red, his total. It's called a red mouth grunt. Why is that, Asa? <laughs> <laughs> your bait's he still in there. Er, no, no, because my bait's on the outside. What? He is a shrimp. Oh my goodness. I think he has a shrimp in his mouth. Wow. Cough it up. They are feasting down there. Give it up, man. That is so cool, Lisa. It's too, too, uh, it's too, too much too... down there. Can we see him? Can we? Can I look in his mouth? Oh, oh. Ow, there he goes. Me before you yeah. Got a little revenge. Nice, nice. Oh my. Do you want to have a go at it? You bet. Yeah, you've had two. You it's my what? turn, right? I still have the same piece of bait. Oh. I'm gonna drop it down there while I oh. have the same piece of bait. Wow. Well, oh, somebody, is that say $50? Hold on just a second. What up, me ancient? Fix this. Uh, love the MRE videos. Next one on me. Go Green Bay. What? Yeah, he's, he, oh my God. That 50 is, that, oh yeah. Oh my. Oh, uh, gee, Mini, do you want a new one or you want an old one or you want to see your app? Because um, I've got a little bit of everything. Uh, fix this. Just let me know what you'd like and I'll uh, put it down. I've, I even have a couple foreign ones. I can't remember where they're from, but. I could throw one of those down. So uh, let me know what you'd like. That's very cool. Thank you. I'm trying to catch three, three fish on the same thing. All right. All right. Here we go. That's efficiency. <laughs> that is efficiency. We got Bengals fans. We got Titan fans. We got Alabama. I'm happy for Joe Burrow. Like, that's cool to come that to the NFL. Cool. I always liked him watching the college, even though I'm not like an LSU fan. I thought, I just thought it was cool, his story. Yes, yes. So now to go to the NFL and like he's winning for, I hope Cincinnati wins to be honest. Yeah. We got somebody asking how much the boat rental is. I don't know, because Asa took care of it. I didn't have to pay for it. I'm just around for the ride. A couple hundred bucks a day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He, we've got, yeah, this is uh, quite the deal here. All right. Somebody's for the Giants, but I don't think they're in the playoffs. <laughs> I think Giants had a tough time with this year. Yeah, yeah. We're Bucks fans, actually, as even before Tom Brady got there. So we're not, we're not bandwagoners, but we were Bucks fans before. So uh, to see in Idaho, you get to pick whatever <laughs> yeah. team you like because there's no team there. So when you go to places like Idaho, you can have people like who are Seattle fans to Tampa Bay fans because you just you just pick out whatever random team you want. Excuse and, me, uh, uh, Grim Reaper just said. He wants you to know he gave two dollars. Thank you, Grim Reaper. And he wants you to know he named his dog Ace. All right. <laughs> I have a dog named that. Thank you, Grim Reaper. <laughs> oh, I'm getting bit. Getting bit. Do a catch and cook in Australia. Let's get your third fish on the tape. Oh, he got off. Oh, and he got your. 
Uh, yeah, you got you. Is that worth trying? Andrew Barris. Hey, Ace, I love your videos. Oh, what a... They, it's mangled up too much. Okay. And you'll have to go back. I think he said, can I get a shout out? Which I think I just did. So, well, we are going to, oh my goodness. The, the, the belly who just jumped out of the water. All right. All right. I'm taking over now. My dad's going to fish. Somebody just said something. We're Let in me... the Keys too, by the way. Yes, yeah, the Florida Keys. Can I get a shout out for, shout out to Andrew Barris. That's Thank you. And Chris, what is it? Christina Lorenzo. Go Bills! Yes, I always felt sorry for the Buffalo Bills because I felt like they were always on the edge of glory and then they somehow gave it away or something like that. I just felt bad for them. I'd never been a Bills fan. I just was like, I hope they do good so their fan base doesn't, you know, do something destructive. I put a piece of cup in. Thank you for the two dollars, Robert. Um, your last name. <laughs> I couldn't see it. It scrolled by too fast. Palm Circle Pete. Thank you for the five dollars. Oh, I thought you had a big one. Adam Coop. We got. Is that pounds? Yeah, pounds. Thank you, Adam Coop. Coop is a coop. What kind of fish are you after today? We are hoping for a snapper and grouper and kind of whatever um whatever we can, keep whatever we can catch because out here like you could catch eels look at that gorgeous boat going by out there um you can uh you guys see that hope it's not too shaky that is a boat right there we have a little little one we're kind of going for any over the reef it's so much fun because you never know what you're going to catch thank you big juice 785 for the mm, uh super chat monitors, big juice. yeah come to sandusky ohio Keep doing the vids from XD Green Shot. Appreciate the super chats, guys. All right, my dad's dropping down now with a fresh, um, fresh ballyhoo chunk. You never know what you catch out here. I, I one of the first videos I watched because I was researching uh, Key Largo fishing, and um, one of the first ones I ever watched was a guy catches a more eel over the reef. So you never know what can happen. And then as you can see, right down there, you got him? Nope. Oh, he got off. Sorry, I was showing everybody the fish. You know, my phone is waterproof. I could stick it underwater. You guys see all the fish down there? Yeah, I wouldn't risk my phone. Um, but. That would be cool to stick. That would be cool to live stream underwater. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't think you'd have signal then. Yeah, you would lose it as soon as you went underwater. You'd have to have like some kind of remote antenna. That'd be cool. That would be cool. Slaying Fish TV. I want to fish it with you one day, brother. Christ is king. Thank you for the two dollars. What reef are you fishing? I don't know. This one has a name. We're what well, you know. We don't. We just out here having fun. We pick a random spot and then just like hey. We're not, we're not professionals out here. I'm sure the locals have all these like advanced strategies and all that jazz. We drive around till we see a reef and go, that looks like a yeah. Hook and grill from Cape Town, South Africa. What do I think of Australia? Good. Australia's great. It looks like a wild, savage country sometimes out there in the bush, as they call it, I believe. The bush. I've got a cool story from Australia. If you want to hear oh, it. you've been to Australia? Or just you know about it? I just know. That there's a, a guy that went to the gold fields in the 1850s in California. Remember the 1849 gold, gold rush when they discovered gold at Sutter Mill in California. And uh, a guy from Australia got his money together and went to uh, uh, U.S. to find gold. And he, he busted. I mean, he lost all his money. He didn't do any good. But he kept looking around and he thought, man, this looks like a lot of the places that I know back home in the outback. The same rock formations and the way everything is. So he got a bunch of buddies together and got people to pool their money and went out in the outback. And uh, that guy is the one that discovered gold in Australia out in the outback. Oh, it was right in his yeah. backyard the whole time. Yeah, yeah. He went all the way there to America to figure out <laughs> gold in his own backyard. Oh, wow. So, Ace, you know, know man. since the fishing's a smidge slower than I thought, what I might do is mount up. Guys, we have the, the phone. 
Uh, oh, thank you, John Pace, for the $2. And Boston Boris. Keep, oh, you're gonna cast out there a little bit. I'll hold it just for a bit more, but what we might do is, guys, I have this phone set up where it can, uh, it can mount. So I'll just mount it to the boat, and then my dad and I will both get a rod, and we'll try to get the action a little bit more. This is a little bit less than what we thought. Florida Keys are made up of 800, over 800 islands, and a key is, it, the, the word key comes from the Spanish word K, K -A, or C -A -Y. we change it to key, and so there are 800, over 800 small islands, that means small island, um, in, the, in the Florida Keys, and when you get all the way to the bottom of the Keys, you are in Key West, and Key West is, let me remember here, it is 90 miles from Havana, Cuba, so it's closer to Cuba than it is to Miami. So, that's just kind of crazy. That's a, oh, oh, I saw that. I, I reacted. I got a circle hook. I should have just started reeling, but I got excited. Sorry. And oh, we still have been. Anyway, that's kind of cool. That's how far south the Keys are, and specifically, uh, West, or Key Largo, it's right? yes, closer to Cuba than the yes. U.S.? Yeah, uh, well, closer to Cuba than, the, than, than Miami. Mm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And it takes, if you start at the top of the Keys, which are down kind of at the tip of Florida, and you drive down to Key West, it takes two hours just to drive that 90 some, 100 some miles. It's a little bit miles. It takes a good two hours because you have to, there's one highway going down and the same highway coming back. So mm. it includes a seven mile bridge, which is pretty cool. The bridge pilings are on, uh, in fact, well, I'll have to tell you guys. If, you, if you're interested, let Asa know because I've, I've, I love history, you know me, and uh, if you've watched this much. And uh, I, yeah, there's some pretty cool things about South Florida and the Keys specifically. But anyway, mm -hmm. I don't want to bore everybody. Megan Dennis says, do more piano. And I have a one that is getting close to being ready. Uh, another piano video. So yeah, those will be uh, coming. We've got people from Canada. What do I think of Sweden? I don't really know any. Oh, you're getting a bite. Oh, missed him again. Boy, we are missing the fish. Look at all the ballyhoo down there. You guys can see, can you see that? Look at all of this fish. Look at all of them around the bait bag. Wow, look, they're just straight up now. Like, they're, I think they're trying to tear holes in the chum bag. I'm going to stir that chum bag. And boulder and boulder. That's fun. Well, we got plenty of bait in the water. We just need. Oh, you got a big one. Oh, yeah. He got me under rock. I mean, he was. He oh, yeah. yeah try to try to get it out because he might still be on there. Guys, these. The one thing about snapper is they can get you under a rock in a hurry. Like they'll bite and they just like dart under a rock right away. Dang it. Snapper are really tricky to catch that for that reason. Megan asks, do I play piano by ear? No, I um, play it. I, I can read music, yes. Read music. I was trained, uh, what would you call it, professional? <laughs> I was trained classically. I wouldn't say, well, yeah, the lady was professional, so um, I guess you could say that, yes. Trained by a professional. Yeah, I was trained by a professional. That doesn't make me a professional, but I was trained by one, yes. Watch you every day. Thank you, Caden Thurston. Watches every day. I know. That is... Uh, well, so, guys, so we have two different types of fish. These are called blue runners, and they are, they've gotten bolder and bolder as we've been out here. Now pillaging the bag they're, they're they're pulling at the bag itself and then out here are what are called ballet who those long, long thin fish they're a little bit more shy but those are some of the most desirable bait out here in the florida keys so it's kind of funny to have two different types of fish and as the afternoon has gone on they just keep
coming and coming. Hmm, interesting. You know what I might do? Yeah. I might rig up the other one with a bigger piece of bait and then like chuck it out over on this side where there's a sand and you have a chance of the big predators cruising. In Hawaii, we would do that. When we give her sandbars, a lot of times in between the reefs, it would be like the big fish were cruising like a highway kind of thing. Mm -hmm. quite good. People said you need to speak up when you're telling your stories. Oh, okay. I'll do it. All right, I'm going to put it on you. All right, just mount it up the old... Mount it up the live stream, guys. I am going to rig up real quick. I'll be back. So, while Ace is gone, there's some cool stuff about South Florida. Um, and I don't know if y'all can hear me because I can't see the other side of the camera. But I'll just tell you, um, I, like I say, over all those K's or the small islands down here. And then they have all the, all the, um, the bays in between the islands. All of them have names, Buttonwood and... And uh, I can't Travernier. Yeah, Travernier, just all kinds of cool places. And um, the, the intercoastal waterway goes all the way down. So you've got that on the on the uh, Gulf side. Ace and I were there the other day, and the water is so clear. But we just didn't see. Well, we did. We saw a big five or six foot uh, tarpon. That was cool. In the in just the super real clear water with just the grass across the bottom of the sand. But um, uh, a man, uh, well, in, in uh, I think it was 1513, Ponce de Leon uh, showed up in the Florida Keys, and um, he uh, he was the first white person credited for being the first European, and um, uh, it wasn't until 1822 that other folks came down uh, to live here. There were there were two tribes of Indians, two groups of Indians in the Keys. And um, anyway, in 1822, these guys came down because there were all these shipwrecks all the time. And, oh, shoot. And um, so they thought we could salvage some shipwrecks. So they started in the town of Key West, again, which is all the way to the bottom of the Keys, all the way to the south part of the Keys. And um, uh, for the first 50, 60 years, the people in Key West, Florida, what they did for a living was salvage the shipwrecks that, of the ships that came between Cuba and Florida, and there were many of them. They would go out and salvage the, the cargo and the ships and the parts and the pieces and rescue people, and then they would sell the ships' pieces and parts and cargo and everything they could uh, rescue. They would sell it, and, uh, oh shoot, and um, uh, uh, for about 50 years running, Key Largo had the, the largest, or the, 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 the per capita income was the most of anywhere else in the whole United States in Key Largo for over 50 years because of the salvage operations that people were doing. So that's how big of a deal it was. That's how many shipwrecks happened in South Florida. And of course, if you, if you know any, if you like treasure stuff, uh, probably the most famous a treasure ship ever recovered because the Spanish lost a lot of ships in between Florida and Cuba to hurricanes and to privateers or privateers that were chasing them, trying to chase them down for the booty. But um, uh, uh, the a fellow by the name of Mel Fisher, uh, who is gone now, he's passed away, but he spent years of his life looking for a Spanish galleon called the Atosha known for the gold doubloons and the pieces of eight and the emeralds that were on her. And uh, he found the Atosha finally after years and years and he lost a son. One of his sons died while they were trying to find the Atosha. And he has a, the, the family still has a museum down in Key West. Haven't been to it. I hope to make it while we're here in the Keys. But um, that's kind of cool in that the he, you know, to search for treasure that long, and finally after, and I don't remember how many, it was like 20 years or 15 years, they finally found the, the treasure, and the guy became very, very wealthy. I remember seeing him on TV when I was a kid, and uh, so there's all kinds of crazy history like that around here. All right. I'm back, folks. I threw out, while my dad was telling the story, I threw out a, um, 
nice chunk of cut bait on that rod right there. So we will see if we can get a big one on there. Somebody gave a five dollar super chat. Fix this. Oh, he said you just had a big old pump. On that Whoa! Thing. Oh yeah. Here, here. here. You we'll it. trade. Here you go. I've got this. Uh, wait. I've got to turn it. No. No, no, you're fine. Okay. I just see myself on it. Are you on? It? Yeah, I'm on it. Oh. Let me turn it. There we go. Fish up a turtle. We've seen one already. Yeah, we don't want a turtle, but we have seen one. We're doing good today, Nathaniel. Thank you for asking. Yeah, your rod, I mean, it just thumped over. Yeah. Huh. That was fast. Bait's barely Mom, Mama says, Asa, can you get a moderator? Oh, all the moderators must have left. Moderators, huh? I don't know how that works, so I can't help with that. I'll add some moderators. In a second. Okay, why? What's your favorite fish to catch, whether saltwater or freshwater, and why? Hello. Hi. Got some folks over there. All right, who wants to be a moderator? I need, I need kind of somebody I recognize from the uh, comment section I see a lot. I see Tash. Tash, I added you as a moderator. Thank you. Um, and uh, let me look for somebody else that I recognize. Sorry, guys, if you don't have... Some of, I mean, I know some of you guys have been watching me for a long time, but sometimes I, I recognize certain people in the comment section, and then other times I don't. So, there we go. All right, so we got a moderator. Got a couple of moderators. And uh, if you guys are just joining us, we're out here in the Florida Keys. All the fit. The Ballyhoo and stuff they're starting to like you can see a few of them down there okay, so look look down here though take, take a look there oh never mind i thought the fish had they just gone old. no wow that is so funny the guys they oh, were... Asa, Asa, your line's gone oh, oh look 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 we got a big one got a big one whoa whoa, whoa. chaos all right chaos, guys chaos ace has got a fish on if he still got it he does wow wow <laughs> Yep, yep, I'm coming up, guys. We're coming up. We're following Asa. He's got a big fish on. Big one. Oh, big one, guys. Here we go. Here we go. He's oh, don't let him get in the in the anchor, yeah. Do I need to pull the anchor? I don't think I can. <laughs> okay, I've got the camera. I've got the camera. Do I need to get Oh man. Oh my gosh. What is it? Oh, no way. Guys, we got a shark on. We got a shark. Is it a big one? Oh sheesh, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's a huge shark, but it's not fighting very hard. Oh, uh, wait for him. <laughs> wait for it. Oh, my gosh. Get out of here, Asa. It's a big shark. I, can I see it, you think, with the phone yet? No, no. Oh, my He's heavens. Right there. Look at that. He, why is he oh, not? my gosh. That's a, that that looks like a bull shark or something. That's a big shark. <gasps> what the? Oh, no. That's like a nurse shark. Oh, it's a nurse shark. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That Asa. is so cool. That is a four footer at least. Well, you can eat these if they're over 54 inches. Oh, he's over 54. Wow. Wow. That wow. That's exciting. <laughs> like how it's like, I'm surprised like the fight was that easy. It's like kind of like a lazy shark for, I mean, cause we've caught sharks before and I mean, I've had small ones that take off way more than this. Oh my gosh, Asa. Whoa. Okay, um, let's get this thing on board here. I don't think they have teeth, but I'm not going <laughs> to. Good idea. Sharks have teeth. All right. Wow. Check him out, guys. All right, let's bring him aboard. I'm going to get out of your way. Okay, it's a nurse it. shark. You have to release it, somebody says. I, but, you know, no, you know you, they're, they're, they, 54 they inches. Might be a keeper, actually. Yeah. If we want wow. to get a shark, I don't know. I don't know that I want that much shark meat. <laughs> I don't know that wow. they Wow. Wow, that is super cool, Asa. Oh my goodness. He's he's a tough bug, huh? He is. That's, like he's so heavy. Oh, that's cool. All right, I'm gonna grab by the tail. Heads up. This will be interesting. 
Yeah, be careful. No way. Don't lose your rod. Yeah, make sure you... <laughs> oh, jeez. Get the big net, somebody says. Yeah, I need to grab my net. Oh my gosh, look at that. All right. All right, you bugger. Grab him by the tail. This would be easy, right? <laughs> Doing the death roll. Uh oh, he got away. Oh gosh, he almost took your rod with him. <laughs> oh, that's a stronger, stronger Whoa! Holy man! Oh. All right. Now he's fighting, huh? Is wow. Still good on the Liger yeah. Industry? Oh yeah. People are. Uh, those are. Yeah, this is scary. Don't grab the tail. All right. I got. I got all kinds of people I saying. Need to unhook him. He has other hooks in him where he snapped other fishermen's line. So we get him aboard. Hopefully. All right. Let's try this. You guys get the idea how big this thing is, right? <laughs> You're gonna lose that rod. Yeah, we're in Florida. We're at the Keys, by the way. I'm going to grab him and try to haul him in real quick. Okay, this guy says it's a shark horror movie. Be safe. <laughs> My see. So, luckily, I don't think nurse sharks have teeth. I can just see it in its mouth. $5. Next time you catch a cook a shark with the teeth, will you send me the jaw? <laughs> yeah. oh, There's the right. fish again. I'm going to try to shark. haul him aboard real fast. All right, let's see what happens. Get out of the way, man. <laughs> Not the tail. <laughs> Whoa. Woo. Oh, my Look gosh. Oh, my God. Here, I'm going to give you the. Good grief. I got it. Yeah. Oh, my heavens. That is. Oh. And, of course, you got a boat. It came. What did they do? They keep on going right by us. Making waves. Whoa. All right. I got to rest this thing here. Wow. Look at his little beady eyes. Oh, that's a big shark. I think the guys these have to be uh, 54 inches and that's definitely a keeper. So here's a question, do we want to eat one of these? I kind of don't, like, it's so huge. And if you like keep a shark, yeah, it's so rough. If you keep a shark this big, like, and it's not tasty, like it's a waste. Okay. No, you can. Uh, you gas, sure, man. I am full gas. Galley. Okay. Go out the back of the ship. <laughs> He's backing up somehow. Uh, oh, come on, up here, man. All right. It's strong. It's kind of funny because it's not a real fast shark, but it is strong. I wonder if they're like sturgeon. You put them on their back. Yeah, and they go docile. Okay. Okay. Oh, that one hook must have come out. There was a big hook in the mouth uh, of, a, of a jig head. There was a chartreuse jig head. And, uh, jig. yeah. Oh, he's got teeth. Don't let anybody Oh, talk yeah, he does have teeth. I'm trying to get that out of there. Yeah. So yeah. Release. Mm hmm. All right. Yeah. Maybe it takes two of us. What we might have to do is set the camera down. Yeah. And, um, and I'll hold him and you get the, oh, get he's the thing. Off. The, the line. Oh, let's. Oops, let's get the hook. Now, here, you hold the camera, and I'll get the hook out. Because I want to get that hook out first. Since it's right there. Hey, you. Try and maybe we just. Oh, yeah, no, it's almost out there. Yeah. Yes. Just gonna flip over. We're trying to help you, dude. There. Yeah, there we go. All right, guys, we're gonna let him go before. That is cool, Asa. That is so cool. All right, shark overboard. Must have got that jig head out during the fight. Look at him doing the death roll. All right, this is gonna be quick. Enjoy. There we go. Oh yeah. There he goes. Very cool, Asa. Whoa. Nice job. Wow. Oh, that was fun. 
Wow, very nice, very nice. Oh, wait, 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 that one there's, is that mine? Oh, it's, yeah, it's yours. Oh, okay. it's, it oh wait, hey, maybe it's snagged, maybe that's a fish. Maybe we have another one. Oh, guys, this is nonstop action. You got him. My dad's got a fish. Whoa, guys. Oh, it's a grunt. Oh, that was a cool thing to happen for a live stream. That was very cool. That's the biggest shark I've ever caught, guys. Oh, that's, yeah, the biggest shark by far. Pretty grunt. As Here, far as grunt. grunts go. Can you hear him? Let's see if I can get him to. He's not grunting, of course. A little bit. You guys, know these grunt. They, they'll, they'll. It sounds like a little pig. Yeah. Uh. You know? Wow, man! Nice job. Whew. Nice. I'm gonna uh, have to get rigged up again. That was fast action. That was real. I mean, I can't believe how that rot. Somebody said nice hook set. It was like, well, <laughs> <laughs> the circle hook just got. Unfortunately, I put on a nice size circle hook Woo. with that. that so cool. yeah. All right, I'm gonna get rigged up again. And uh, you need more bait and I'm gonna get rigged up again. All right, so I'm gonna set you guys down for a second. Um, I have this, like I said, I'm a little bit of a newbie live streamer, so um, sometimes I don't do things quite right, but I have this time, I have the uh, phone mounted on this clasp and I just clasp it onto the boat and I think there we, looking right at you, no pressure. All right, it's clasped onto the boat. And I just leave it. There we go. All right. Well, this has got the biggest fish of the trip. That's for sure. Woo. That is my personal best shark. Caught it during a live stream. That's that is cool. Nice again. Nice again. Mm. Very ah. nicely done. Right? <laughs> Very nice. Well. All right. I'm going to get tied back on. I say we just fish till it gets dark. Okay. Asa decided to send us or bring, it, bring his mom and I down to Florida with him while he cut videos down here. So he and I have been out a bunch of at projects and uh, I don't know, can you tell him some of the stuff we've done? Yeah, you can, like, yeah. Oh, okay. So we were out the other day and uh, we caught lobster. That was cool. That was. Uh, we got to eat them. And, uh, oh man, there's a fish on, but he's got me underneath the, let me just see if I can get this off real quick. Anyway, we got uh, uh, we we got some lobster the other day diving. Um, that was really cool because in in Hawaii you can get lobster, but but they're few and far between. There aren't a bunch of them out there where we can get to them snorkeling, and we were able to find quite a few the other day when we went out. That was a lot of fun. Um, we've been fishing. We've not caught a big shark like that yet, but. Uh, so I'm glad you guys got to see that. That's really cool, really cool. Um, that was a nurse shark, I think. And they mm -hmm. do have teeth. Don't let anybody tell you they don't. We, we saw them. They're just not super visible. You got them? Oh, There's coral down there. I'm casting away from the boat. The snapper guys, they will die. They'll grab your bait and they'll immediately dive under the coral. They're tricky. I think I might just leave it a bit and just see if it comes off. Anyway, I was going to tell you, so down in um, the south of Florida, where for 50 years, the people in Key West had the highest per capita income of any other town in the United States, the, the shipping companies, with the advent of, uh, of the paddle wheel steamships and then the ironclad ships, the, they stopped losing ships on the shoals and in the, in the shallow places. Whoop. And um, so that that part of of the economy went away because the ships weren't sinking anymore. So what happened was people, when they were diving for the wreckage, they noticed there were a lot of sponges in the water. So for like 20 years, people were diving for sponges and they exported more sponges from South Florida, the Keys, than anywhere else. And they were doing really well for themselves then because they were exporting sponges all over the world. Hold on just a second, I gotta cast out again. So, then came a big old hurricane and uh, that business went away because the hurricane, the, the swells were so big and so bad that it just scrubbed the bottom of the ocean around here where all the, um, where all the sponges were. And uh, so that dried up and went away. And then Key West turned into kind of a, 
Uh, they tried uh, oranges. They, they tried a bunch of different uh, limes, of course. But then in 1935, there was a really big hurricane and it took away, it wiped out the railroad that was that had been put up for down here. Um, and it uh, wiped out the lime trees. It, just, it devastated uh, the, the Keys area. Oh, oh got yeah. him. Got All him. right. Oh, shoot. Did he get your snag? He got me snagged again. Man, he took off. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it set a minute. Anyway, um, yeah, he keeps taking the line out. Take it away. Take it away. Um, and uh, so the, the ever since then, it's just kind of been more fishing than anything else. Oh, it came off part of the coral. Anyway, but uh, so ever since then, it's kind of been a sleepy fishing, sleepy fishing area. Great fishing around here all over. And um, one of the, of course, there was the movie with uh, Humphrey Bogart and uh, uh, his wife, uh, Lauren Bacall, filmed in Key Largo, called Key Largo. Uh, that, that's an interesting fact. Go ahead, did you want to? Uh, this is why I got that shark on. You guys just joined it. Oh, sorry, I just, I'll get back to it. Yep. Um, I've got, uh, yeah, that's all it took to get that nurse shark was a, a small piece of bait like that. So I'm gonna throw mine back out there. Did you throw it in the white area? Yes, in the same. There you go. So um, Ernest Hemingway liked the Keys area as well. He, uh, in fact, there's a Bass Pro Shop in, uh, is it in Isla Mirada? Uh -huh, in Isla Mirada, and they have a, the sister boat of Ernest Hemingway's boat, if you're an Ernest Hemingway fan, uh, there at the Bass Pro Shop in Isla Mirada. That's kind of cool. And they filmed some of the scenes for the movie Key, uh, Key Largo. In the, uh, there we go. Oh man, I tell you what, I, I don't know what that I is. I didn't need to give you a shorter leader. I didn't oh, mean that yeah, one. Yeah, 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 that's it. Because okay. they have time sure, sure. to swim in the rocks. Uh -huh. I made it too long. Okay. So yeah, the leader's about three and a half feet long. We're going to shorten it up. And the end is all free. You can feel it from being in the rocks. Yeah, they have time to grab the bait and then swim under rocks. So we will. Thank you. Yeah, if you hadn't seen that bite, I would have been sitting there talking with everybody. You guys just joined us. I just caught my personal best shark. So that was pretty cool. We have a line. We didn't measure it. We should have. Yeah, we should have measured the exact length. I was kind of worried about it. Like, Yeah, I came. wanted to get it back in the water. So yeah. yeah. We'll never know how long it was, but uh, that was cool. You know, we can look at the pictures and then measure it on the deck of the boat. Uh, look at that. The get a good estimate. Yeah, yeah. All right, short your leader. Thank you, sir. Can't do by a whole lot because the, otherwise they will see that braid. Yep. But oh, you're fine. Oh, yeah. Thank you. All right. Thanks, We're sir. Back in business. I, oh, I had one. You dropped it in there, and one of those blue things you dropped. Oh. Not the fish we want. <laughs> Again, it's about ten feet here. Ten feet deep. All right, guys. Take it back over the camera. Got my rod out right there. And uh, and then we've got my dad right here. It's getting starting to get a little dark, so we'll probably live stream just for a little bit longer. And uh, maybe about 20 more minutes or so. And then we'll have to... Yeah. I would get put on a fresh piece of bait if I was you. Uh, we've got some cut up fish here, ladies and gentlemen. Oops, keeps doing that. Hi, Kristen. Guys, this is the this is what we're using. Got some uh, side meat and side meat of a bluefin. Mm-hmm. A little bit of cut bait. Just right out there. Sweet. Go We're in the Keys, Key West area. Oh, look, 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 I got another one. I got another one. Already, what is with... Here, you hold the camera. You got one? No, nope. it took me under a rock. Oh, it yeah. did have, yeah. Look at you guys. Oh, wait. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> he's gone. Wait, don't know if he's... 
Is, is he on? Let him take it. Mr. Hooper. <laughs> We're going to need a bigger boat. Hmm. Greetings from Belgium. Check the bait. Still have bait? Yeah, it's kind of mangled. Lake Lanier is good fishing, Ace. Come to town. I, come to. <laughs> I fished national tournament in Lake Lanier when I was in the youth division. They had the youth national tournament. Um, Thank you, Tash. Youth national tournament on Lake Lanier in Georgia, and I went and fished there. I remember catching three fish, but there was a slot limit, and none of them were within the slot limit. That was really um, frustrating. But yeah, I went and represented Idaho back when I was younger. All right, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just going to, there we go. Leave it, because it seems like things happen. Yeah. I'm not superstitious at all, but it seems like things happen whenever we just leave and walk away from the fishing rod. You're not superstitious, you're just superstitious. Basically. Somebody just, asked, somebody must have just joined. They said, have you gotten any fish? Yes, guys, I caught my personal best shark. There are always new people um, uh, joining a live stream. So sometimes an update. Look at that. I got a bite. I turned around. No, Let's watch didn't. it. Yep, look at it. You see that? You need me to take it? Uh-huh. All right, give me a second. I got him. Look, I'm holding the camera and I have a fish arm. Hopefully he's still there. Come on, what was going on? My dad's trying to get a snag out. Gotcha. I don't know if he's still on. Oh yeah, he's still on. <laughs> Greetings from Miami. We're down here south of you. It's small. Oh, it's a yellowtail. Oh, it is a yellowtail. Ooh. Be a gotta be 12. Gotta be 12. This guy's gonna be close. You know, while he's on the hook, let's go up front. And there you go. Let's do it. Oh, all right. They have to be 12 inches. From the end of the tail to the... Oh, oh he's, he's like, oh, he is a quarter inch short. Oh, shoot. He is just barely a non keeper Dang it. These are tasty fish to eat. Mm. Yellowtail, oh, he got me the spikes. They're kind of spiky. Spikes, a gorgeous fish. That's a yellowtail. Yeah, that's right. There you go. Well, almost keeper. Nice. Next time. That was fun. Yeah, that's all right. Whenever I walk away, that's when uh, that's when things happen. Uh huh. No, there's not going to be any cooking today, guys. So, afraid not. Are you snagged? I am. Okay. Since I've gotten two good fish off the front, maybe we should fish off the front now. I might mount the phone, and uh, yeah, that's braid. That's gonna be a tough break right there if you can break that stuff. It must be, you must have gotten the braid under the Yeah, the braid under the rock, because you're moving the whole boat. Am I? Uh-huh. All right. Whole deep fried yellowtail, somebody said. And that is like such a Florida thing to That's do. A quintessential Florida dish right there. Everywhere you go, people like deep fry whole yellow tail. All right. If we fish off front, you can see us. I'm just going to set this back here for now. Okay. Okay. So, I'm going to, I think I'm going to turn that camera so they can see you, right? Yeah, it's on me. Oh, well, I see the camera's looking at me. Definitely. It has two. It has one on the front, one on the back. It's looking right. I can see the screen. It's looking right at me. Cool. All right. All right, this is what I've been uh, slaying them on, just a little piece of cut bait right there. We're keeping it simple, guys, so that we have lots of action for the live stream. So. Cast out my lucky spot. There you go. Set it in, you want me to set it in here? Or are you uh, gonna hold it? Uh, yeah, you know, every time I set it down, I seem to yeah, get Just keep an eye on it. Yeah, I'm gonna set it in there. Guys, we're gonna do the same formula. There's no point in, um, trying to mess with success here so
if it ain't broke. Don't fix it. So every time I just leave it, it's a 21 foot boat for anybody who's asking. So yeah, I'm just, I just leave it sitting that little rod holder there. And all of a sudden it takes off a whole bunch of times. All right, did you have to snap that one? You know, we have a Sabiki rig on the other one. Yeah, you could maybe catch a lot of stuff on that. We have only have one other rod, guys, since we're traveling tourists, we only have three rods. Um, so, which I mean, which is fine for us, but a lot of times the locals have like 25 rods. Oh, yeah, we've seen that. I mean, yeah, or 40 rods. Like, <laughs> like $20,000 of the rods and reels on there. Uh -huh. Easy. Okay, so. I think I'm going to tip them. Yes, yeah. definitely. All right, so guys, a Sibiki rig. Hi, thank you, Miles Miner. Um, Miles Manor says, hello, me ancient. Thank you for $2. Thank you. Guys, the Sabiki rig is, uh, if you're new to fishing, see how there's a hook there and a hook there. There are six hooks on this thing. And uh, what we're doing is just my dad's tipping it, uh, each hook with a little bit of bait. And it has like a little fly on it. Let me show you that. You see that little like fly there? So, sorry, I've got a lot of boat waves from all the boats going in Are, is your uh rod set at a real light drag so we'll hear it no okay. <laughs> <laughs> i got this cool knife from my brother by the way for christmas check out this big old butcher knife he got me i thought it was pretty cool it is very cool well i've got to yeah. use both hands yeah, my dad's is too big of a chunk because the the hooks are so small. Mm-hmm. And then we got the rock into the waves. We and I'm just keeping an eye yeah, you do on that. that rod right there. You do that. It's gone off several times now. All right. There we go. That should be good. Yep. That, look at that big, cool butcher knife. Shout out to my bro for getting me that. Yeah, Mike, I think. Come in handy a bunch. And a couple more here. How many hooks? One, two, three, yeah, six four. On six hooks on this, guys. We we have the potential to catch six fish at once. On Maui, I think the record is five. Okay. Yeah, we caught five at once, I think. One rig. That was pretty cool. So, my dad's going to throw that out. I have mine out. I'm keeping an eye on it. See, I haven't gotten a bite in like two minutes and I'm disappointed now. I'm spoiled. Spoiled. All right. Oh, wait. Maybe I'm just getting a bite right now. Let's watch it. Unless that's the rocking of the boat. Any fish? That may just be the movement of the boat. Hmm. Hmm. You rigged up? Oh, somebody said they bought a knife from your catfish video. Thank you, Fix This. Appreciate the support. Miles Manor said, car accident stopped my fishing. You also inspired. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Oh, you got one already. I'm sorry about that, Miles. You got a blue runner. This is the tricky part. You got to be really careful. Yeah. Because there's so many hooks flying. It's six. super sharp. Six hooks flying everywhere, ladies and gentlemen. Look at all the fish down here. You guys see this? Look at them. So many fish around the boat. We've got enough bait, I think, don't you? Or do we need to keep some? For no, I think bait? we've got enough. Well, you know, actually, actually, oh, did he swallow it? Yeah, do you have no. those little pliers? Yeah, let's definitely keep them because I want that hook okay. back. <laughs> yeah. I will get you pliers. Yeah, if you guys are wondering about the rocking, um, the rocking of the boat, there's so many boats out here, and uh, there the waves on a calm day like this, the waves carry far across the ocean, so we have tons of wake, um, yeah, tons of wakes. So that's why, even though there's like no wind out here, just just oh oh, oh look look at that, you guys it? Oh, I'm gonna pick up this rod here, pick up this rod, hold a camera, and let's see. Guys, I got one. Oh, oh, wait, he may have gotten off. He might be on there. I'm gonna... 
Oh, yeah. Oh, he's on there. All right, I gotcha. Oh, he's off. Oh, shoot. Well, next time I need to just drop everything. Well, that's a little bit of bait. You need some new, huh? You know what I'm going to do? Watch this. Tell me. Watch this. Guys, we're going to take a fish head here. Let's see that. Fish head. This is a blue runner. Oh, nice. Put him on as bait. Where do you hook him? Right through the top. Oh, it's kind of hard on the top. Hmm. Maybe right through the nose. All right. That would hurt. Get hooked. <laughs> through one nostril and out the other. Let's see if we can catch another shark on the fish head. There you go. Dumpster Man says, hey, Ace, I love your videos. Keep up the good work. Hey, Dumpster Man. Appreciate it. Appreciate all the Super Chats, guys. Yeah, really. That's, that's really cool. lucky spot so hopefully right. you got her all right you throw it on your sabiki rig yep. do that again here i am so tangled up right now oh he got you all tangled oh, imagine that mm. Mm -mm -mm. you know what I'll tighten up my line here there we go just a little bit i'm excited i'm excited to watch this one go off where are y'all? Somebody just logged in. We are in Key Largo, Florida. Oh, he caused a big old tangle. A oh, son of a gun. Rascal. Hmm. That doesn't look salvageable to me. Oh, shoot. Are you kidding me? I love the puzzle. You just keep an eye on your reel. Okay. I think, you're I, think I might be in a bite already. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to clip it up. All right, guys. While well, my dad's working, I'm going to stick y'all right there sorry for all the movement but uh this is the way we have to do it on the fish head let's see if we have another shark it is getting evening you know the sharks tend to come out more in the evening we're new to the florida fishing by the way really familiar with the Hawaii, the Hawaii fishing, but Florida has been very different, and so many new fish, um, and so many rules. Yeah, Florida has so many rules. Hawaii's almost like, go out there and have fun. Um, <laughs> Florida has like preserves and uh, all these no fishing spots, and outside this boundary you can fish or you can fish in this spot but you can't keep any and uh, there's a lot to study up on there's a slot limit there are like seasons for all these different fish sometimes it'll be like uh, you can keep this fish January through April and then you can't keep any in the summer but then you can keep some for a month and then you can't keep any more so you have to like there are a lot of rules to study so that's way different than why I wasn't expecting that even when we were diving for lobster, we had to go like five miles away to get out of all the state parks and out of all like the protective zones where you can snorkel for lobster, for lobster to finally find lobster ground. You could snorkel everywhere, but you just couldn't keep anything, which was the point. We wanted to catch lobster to keep and eat them, so it's been different that way. I may have been picked up. Oh, no, I wasn't. Huh. Something missed. Hmm. Something like cleaned out the inside of the head, like they ate out all the stuff. The gills are gone and everything. I'm gonna throw that out and get a fresh piece. I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. Ladies and gentlemen, got a 
I just put on like a big piece of cut thing here. I love one, would love one more shark. It is looking kind of stormy out here though. We might end this live stream in just a little bit here. I'll throw out again and uh, would hate to get caught in a storm three miles offshore. I've already had a good day. First and best shark and all that. Got a fresh piece of bait down there. I am going to turn you guys around here. All right, now I can see the chat. I'm getting a bite already. Are you really? Oh, oh he, he, I should have let him take it. It's a big piece of bait. All right, hold on. He'll come back for it. Wow, that this is fast action. You gonna retie? Yeah, I'm gonna retie. It'll come back. Right underneath you there. Hello from Key Largo. That's where we're at is Key Largo. Ace bought your seasoning. Thank you so much. Best seasoning in the world. I think so too. I even eat it off camera. Like when I'm not filming, I even eat it. Fix this, another $20, thank you for the, wow, well, thank you so much. Hoped, thank you for the video, hope to see more guys. There will be a regular video coming out, I think tonight. I think tonight it'll be ready to rock and roll. All right, I do see rain coming, Pops. Guys, we might be ending this live stream. I, I think this might be last cast of the day right here. Um, and, uh, cause I see a storm. You guys see how it's like, there's a wall of rain. Um, all right. Where? Right over there. Oh, I don't miss this. I don't know. <laughs> I would hate to get caught out here in a storm. We will, we'll, we'll try just for a few minutes longer here. Oh, wait, I'm getting bit already. What is going on down there? I will cast. I have a sweet spot right here. Wish we had started earlier. 99 cents from Michael Scott. Thank you so much. And the wind is picking up. Yeah, this one's gonna start getting good. Got him. Nice. Nope, I don't. He's off. He dropped off. Dang it. I'm gonna cast right back in my sweet spot. Wow. I mean, it takes like a minute. All right, one more shark. This, well, I said this is the last cast. Oh, I'll just, I'll do that. Yep. Because we definitely have to go through lightning. Yeah, sure. I'll check all the foam. I say we do the same thing and come in. Guys, we'll be. Oh, yeah, absolutely. right now so we didn't get caught in a storm this is starting to get a little bit windier thank you guys so much for hanging out